Hey guys, uh, hey guys, <clears throat> blessed be. I thought that uh, starting this year I would start to go through some books, some pagan books, and do some reviewing. So the first one I'm going to start with is this one, which is the Daily Spell Journal. And I'm going to go through this throughout the year though, because I'm not going to just review it all at once, because it's basically a bunch of spells every day. And it has a spot for you to make notes on the spells as you go along. I might be doing that in a notebook because um, since this isn't like year specific, I can then um, give this away to a friend. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be going through it though. Uh, it does say in the beginning of the book, the introduction, that... Um, <clears throat> You can skip spells if they don't pertain to you, or if you want to do a particular spell, you can go ahead and do one that's coming up and go ahead and do that one. It also has um, uh, the 13 moons, so January has the two full moons in it. And of course, every year it's not like that, so you can move that moon spell around to cater to the specific year that you're doing this in as well as um, moving some of the things like uh, dates of specific um, uh, espats or the um, sabbats I'm sure because they don't fall on the same days not all uh, some of them do but not all of them fall on the same day every year and you can just move things around as you will with this book it also has leap year, so it has the extra day. It says in the um, introduction that that is on the the spell that they do on the leap year day uh, is your birthday spell. So you can move that to your actual birthday and not have to do that on uh, a day that may not be even in that year that you're in. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and go through this this year with you guys. And I'm only going to, per week, I'm not going to do every spell in here because I'd be doing one every single day and I don't got time for that. I work extensive hours, which is why I don't always get videos out when I want to. But I thought I'd try to do one, one a week from the week that, uh, so out of the seven days I will pick one to do and I'm actually going to do... There's some good ones the first week, like uh, seed divination and <clears throat> banishing of your baggage and stuff. But I will go ahead and read off the titles to you, but I will tell you which one I'm actually going to do. And I won't actually do it on the camera, but I will show you the material that you need to do the spell. So if you're interested, of course, you can pick up the book yourself and do which spells you wish. Uh, and but yeah I won't go through every single spell in here but I'll do a sampling once a week I will at least try to keep up with that for this upcoming next year and this will be my first book review hopefully I have a lot of pagan books so I'm hoping to get through quite a few of them this year all right um but yeah I'm going to the next half of this video will be the first spell for this year and you're gonna have to get off me in order to me do anything Oh, she is so clingy. Okay, so for week one, we're going to get into the book and look at the spells that they have for us. So January 1st, a spell for new beginnings. January 2nd, Seeds of Divination Spell. Third, Spell to Banish Your Baggage. Four, Spell to Open the Door of Opportunity. Five, Vision Board of Goal Setting. Uh, six, Persephone Spell for Protection, and seven, Silver and Gold Prosperity Magic. So I am going to go ahead and start with the first one. 
this is the one I'm gonna do for you. So what we need for this one is a purple candle. So I have one right there. My candle holder. And then also your favorite incense. So since it says favorite and it doesn't ask for a specific one, um, you can use your favorite. Or you can, I'm guessing if you want to add a bit of um, an element of to your spell, if you have something specific, you could um, al always do something that corresponds with like the elements or something, um, a scent. I know there are some interesting incense out there. So mine, my favorite is this one. Um, it's uh, called Fizzy Pop. Yeah, it was also my best friend's favorite, so I have mine right here and my incense holder. So it just goes in there. This actually can hold several incense. I'll put this one on its head. It's got a horn though. Okay, so this season, when many of us are thinking of resolutions, but sometimes even with the best intentions. It can be hard to kick them. This spell is designed to kickstart your year of change and transformation. The blue candle represents the empowerment and ambition. Light the candle and use the flame to light your incense. Watch the flame dance before you say. And then I usually end up saying something else. Um, but you could use the words in this book. Um... I always like to personalize things and then list the things you will accomplish in the next 12 months and using an active voice rather than a passive uh, when you're done and then blow out the candle, letting the incense burn away on its own. So I like it because I, when I blow out a candle, I'm blowing out my intentions into the universe and the slight smoke that comes from it, I usually envision of it, my intentions going off into the universe because that's the only time I really um, blow out candles is when I'm blowing out my intentions into the universe. Otherwise, I'll use my candle snuffer when, um, when the candle is being used as the element of fire. So this one actually I will do because it... Um, it kind of jives with my own personal practice. So I might change my wording, but that is what I'm going to do. So um, I don't know if you want to follow along or if you have if you have this book. I don't know. Just give me your thoughts in the description below. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this ritual. It's small. It's simple. And it's a nice way to kick off January. So welcome 2020. Thanks guys. Hey guys. <laughs> oh my. My hair kind of dried funny from my shower. I worked last night so I had to come home after the new year began. So I spent, I work overnight so I had um, my new year at work. <laughs> so I thought I'd do this spell today. Get this kick off 2020. Um, in a good way. She has to be in part. She was she was watching me do this spell from the book. Um, she's pretty good. She always knows when when to stay back. She was sitting on the back of my chair when I was doing it. She was waiting for me to finish so she could come to the front. But yeah, so I just uh, not sure what. Uh, your thoughts on this are, I plan to do just one of the, well, with you on camera. I'll probably do more, but some of them, um, you know, the spells in this book, you can skip if you have no need for them. And then others, like if you want to do that, you can skip ahead. So you don't have to do them in order, even though it has it on certain dates. So it's a nice book. And uh, I plan to do one, like I said, one of them 
on camera with you uh, weekly. So we're just going to go ahead and enjoy some relaxing time and uh, finish off this spell since my incense is still burning and um, but uh, yeah maybe I will see you again blessed be